The first year that I joined the program, Greg Semenza won his Nobel Prize. Carol Greider, Peg Kazazian, Barbara Mijan, huge visionaries for the field of genetic medicine and you know, so many of these people that have gone on to do incredible work. Like, you know, I eat lunch with them or like I see them in the hallway, they know me by name. It's, you know, kind of pinch yourself sometimes. <laughs> It's incredible. I mean, you're seeing children that in any other time period yeah. in the history of human beings, this child wouldn't be alive. Yeah. And it's just, it's sort of humbling. And I think that's one of the neat parts of, of just modern day pediatrics and genetics in general is that we're at the beginning of a revolution, a life-changing um, experience for so many families. The birth of genetic medicine happened right here, and we have trained so many world experts. And not only that, genetics at Hopkins really is unique in that we see some of the most complex cases in the world. Not just complex medically, but complex in terms of their social background, their family situation. And when you have this patient population and all these world experts that are coming in to help them, you have a really optimal training environment that allows you to be uh, not only comfortable with a few complex conditions, but many, many complex conditions. I think people who study here go on to do great things because they're great people to begin with. So I you know, I can't take that away from them. And then I think that they've come to Johns Hopkins and this is to some extent a leadership factory. Johns Hopkins is a highly rigorous environment, whether it's clinical research or both. And individuals leave this department and they have gone on to run organizations like the American Society of Human Genetics, the American College of Medical Genetics. So they go and spread this across the world and to their future trainees and do cutting edge science every single day. I always tell my students that the goal is not about producing work, it's about training scientists. And I think that that's critical because science changes. Every couple of years, something changes. It's about learning how to learn because you're gonna hopefully have a long career where 10 years from now, you may be doing something completely different, but I want your training here to prepare you for it. The way that our program is structured, we go through three rotations when we first get here in our first year. And so you can rotate through three different labs, find your fit, find the project and the PI that you mesh with. And this department has a wonderful collaborative spirit. You know, the, the labs up and down the hall, you know, if I run out of a reagent or, you know, if I'm trying a protocol I've never done before, I can run down the hall and somebody will drop what they're doing and come and help me out. Those connections and the, the impact that you'll get to make at Hopkins is really going to be the biggest thing that you'll take away from it. We have lab members at all levels and we try to train them in the techniques that we're experts in, but we also look for people with diverse backgrounds because you never know when a new idea or technology from another field can actually lead to a breakthrough in ours. You know, we're looking for the most creative and passionate people that will sit and talk with us and come up with ideas together and also you know, have the grit to sit at the bench and get those ideas uh, accomplished and put into practice. You know, I think the reason why we have such a great track record of recruiting the best people is because we treat them well while they're here. You should come to Hopkins if you want to be surrounded by truly exceptional PIs, professors, but also you want to surround yourself with students who are as good as you are. They will challenge you, you will challenge them. You're really on a personal friendship basis with your attendings, with the other genetics team, the genetic counselors, the dietitians, the nutritionists that we have, and also the other genetics residents and fellows are really wonderful. And yes, I think that there's more of a need for genetics. The number of consults we get continues to increase. I think similarly, the number of, of applicants going into genetics continues to increase year to year. Genetics is the only specialty for which you will never be educated enough. Every single day, there are new genes that are discovered. Every single day, there are new knowledge that are discovered. So the curiosity, the excitement of finding new variants that explain a specific condition, and also the passion to use that knowledge to provide relief to some family and, and to some patient, will always maintain my ability to stay in the discipline for a very long time. I know in thousands of years, we will still need geneticists.